Hey, good morning, everyone. Thank you for always watching my videos. Thank you for liking my videos. I also need to add that I am not a medical practitioner. And here's a quick disclaimer for all our products. This is a natural food supplement, not tested by the medical council, not intended to cure any disease. So now we got that out of the way. I would like to talk about the different CMOS or types of CMOS or forms of CMOS we have. The first one is the raw CMOS. And then I want to talk about the CMOS gel, obviously my favorite. And then I would like to just quickly talk about the capsules we have. So the raw CMOS is the, in the word, it says raw CMOS, which is also dry CMOS. And this is what they actually harvest. And then it gets sun dried and then it gets sent to me. So the raw CMOS you turn into a gel form by rinsing it a few times and then you soak it in bottled water, spring water or reverse osmosis water or even distilled water for overnight or until your CMOS is soft enough for the blender. And then you blend it and then you pour it into a sterilized jar and then you refrigerate it. And then it turns into CMOS gel. Let me open this for you. This is CMOS gel. This is by far my favorite. And this is now the year 2023. And this is my 10th year of using CMOS gel. Gel, gel, gel. This is why the skin looks like this. This is why the energy is always there. This is why the mood is always enhanced. And this is why there's no diabetes or high blood pressure in this beautiful body of mine. And uh, CMOS gel lasts up to four weeks in the fridge. Up to sometimes more, sometimes less. I need to always remind people that this is an organic, wild crafted product. So for me to put a label on there that says this is the best before date is almost impossible. So yes, it lasts up to four weeks in your refrigerator. I take a teaspoon, a heaped teaspoon in the morning and then I down that with a glass of water and then I repeat that at night before bed. Sometimes when I feel a bit offish, I take a heaped tablespoon in the morning, which is nothing wrong with that. In my humble opinion, again, there's no overdose when it comes to CMOS. My son is 10 years old and he takes three teaspoons whenever he wants to. His TV is next to the refrigerator where the CMOS is, so he goes crazy. And then last but not least is the humble CMOS capsule. For those who do, who do not like the texture of the CMOS gel, we have the CMOS capsules here for you. You take two a day, there's 60 in here, it's 250 Rand for the 60 capsules. You take two a day and that would last you a month. I personally do not take CMOS capsules. Like I say, I am pro CMOS gel. But for those that have used it, please come back or get back to me and uh, please let us know how it goes or how it went. Thank you so much.